So we all know by now that Siri makes amazing anamorphic lenses, but did you actually know they make tripods too? Well, let me show you. This is their latest tripod, the SH25. And it's a tripod that it's meant to be very affordable with professional filmmaking in mind. Well, here it is. I told you that this tripod is really affordable, but I didn't tell you how affordable it is. Well, it's $250 and for that amount of money, you get ton of features. One of the things that I really like about this tripod and you don't really see in other tripods at the same price is the fact that it has fluid drag control. So by screwing and unscrewing this, you get more control of your panning depending on how heavy is the camera that you have on here or depending on the lens you're choosing. With more expensive tripods, you have the possibility to fine tune your tilting too. But with this one, you only have a locking tilt which is not bad because the tilt has a very smooth movement and whenever you film with longer lenses you can really feel that this tripod is doing its job. To show you how smooth this tripod is, I put together my Sony a7S III with the DZO Film Vespit Prime 125 lens which is a pretty long lens and I'm gonna try to do some movements here on the table and show you how smooth it looks. So basically right now I'm gonna try to pan left to right and I'm not using slow motion or anything like that. So as you can see, it's pretty smooth. I really like the fact that you can make really smooth shots with this tripod. Since it supports 10 kilograms, this camera is nothing for him. So. It is really, really, it is really easy to hold the camera's balance. And um, yeah. Also, the stabilization on the camera is turned off, obviously. So for $250, I think this tripod performs absolutely amazing. And I had tripods in the past that costs double or even more that didn't work as good as this one. So. Yeah, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I had a lot of tripods along the year and most of them had a very small handle here for the ball head and it was really hard to tighten the ball head but this one has a really nice one and I think it's very easy to grip it and it's very easy to tighten really hard the ball head in order to not have a moving tripod whenever you film. So this is a big bonus on this tripod. Another cool thing about this tripod is the fact that it's really tall. How tall? Let me show you. I'm 183 and this one is bigger than me. So I think that's more than enough. Besides all the cool features that I've shown you so far, this tripod also comes with a Manfrotto mount and it's also very lightweight. For a tripod this size, it only has four kilograms and it supports cameras up to 10 kilos, which nowadays we won't get past that. And even with all these features that I've shown you, this tripod has even more. But overall, I'm really excited because I see a really good shift in the market, meaning I see a lot of good products that are also affordable. And I think it's really important because gear tends to be very expensive nowadays and for beginner filmmakers out there, it's a really struggle to get their hands on a good product that is also affordable. So to see products like this that look good, feel good and are also very good in price is a really nice feeling. Therefore, I'm really recommending this tripod because so far I had great experience with it. I've been using it for months and nothing has broke to it. So as you see on series lenses, their products are really good quality and also their tripods. Of course, if you want something more professional, they have even more high quality stuff on their website and you can check their super professional tripods, which I might get my hands onto because I really like the quality of the series product. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Even if it was shorter, I hoped I kind of showed you a product that is beneficial for you because I feel like so many reviews out there are for gimbals, for lenses, for cameras, and none of them are for 
things that make a difference in your workflow. For example, a good tripod is very important in the least expecting time that you would expect to need a good tripod. For example, you might need to shoot something with the long lens. Then you realize that your tripod is not doing a good job. So then you wish you had a very good tripod. So I think me showing you this tripod could be helpful because uh, who knows? Anyway, with all this being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a subscribe and uh, leave me a comment on what kind of content you want to see more on the channel. And until next time, go out there and have some fun shooting. Cheers.